Hello, what's going on guys? This is me Hexination. Wait, 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 wait. Before you go into any other video or you're curious to know what this video is, this is a video for beginners or some players who just want to switch their legend to Bloodhound in Apex Legends. If you don't know what Bloodhound is, I'll go into the depth. If you have some queries or questions, you can just ask me down in the comments. But before that, make sure to like and subscribe and share the video if you enjoy it. If you don't, it's on you. Completely on you guys. I'm not I'm not I'm not forcing you. I'm really not. Make sure to do it guys. Okay, please. Yeah. So the first part is what is Bloodhound? Bloodhounds is just a technological tracker. You know what? No one gives a damn about it what bloodhound is all we need to know are the abilities because technological tracker won't help me become a pro so what are the skills let's just go right into the skills i'll read them out and i'll give you the word a little bit of a hint what these are and i'll show you gameplays where i describe them completely so passive is tracker so which leave which is foes leave behind clues for you to find easy you didn't understand it i'll explain you give me a minute or so the second is tactical, which you press with Q or whatever button you use on controller or your keyboard. Depends on you guys, completely on you. Briefly reveals enemies' traps and clues through all the structures in front of you. Then is the ultimate with Z for me, I don't know for you. Transform into ultimate hunter and answers your senses allowing you to see cold cracks and move faster. Knockdowns extend duration so and then there's a rec recon recon yeah scanning survey beacons reveals the next circle's location so this was one minute basics yeah this video is done sorry it's not done i'm just kidding so let's move on to the best part or what is a passive for bloodhound so what is the passive for bloodhound Bloodhounds, as like I read in the video, it was all about the reading markings on the floor or whatever you see on the floor. As you can see, uh, there are some arrows and some markings on the floor, which just tells that the person was right here. What kind of movements he did? He moved through here and he was jumping over here. He opened the chest. These are the movements you can learn from the Bloodhound passive. Where the person was around a second ago, the icons will be more red compared to the ones where the person was one minute ago. The icons will be much more on the light side. As you can see on the screen, that arrow is a little bit on the white. And after a while, the arrows disappear because the Bloodhound Tracker would be really OP if they did that. And this is what the passive for Bloodhound is. So now I'm gonna explain you what the pa ultimate and tactical abilities are. So tactical is just a proper scan that shows you where the enemies are at the time you scan them. As you can see in the clips, you can easily get where the enemies are. They appear in an infrared way. The cooldown for the scan will be 14 seconds. So What's there to learn about? There's nothing much to learn about. It just shows you where the people are and where the traps are. What is the ultimate? Ultimate is something which gives you a special power and ability that can let you see people in infrared or thermal vision to be particular. So you can see people in thermal vision and it reduces your cooldown for your scan. For normal it is 14 seconds but when you're in your ultimate you can use this scan in every 7 seconds. So that's what ultimate does and it gives you a lot of movement speed as well. So you can run quite fast when you are in the ultimate mode. That is the complete demonstration of the passive tracking, the tactical scan and the ultimate usage in one clip. So I don't need to give you much more information cause you will understand that by doing it on your own cause Practice just makes you perfect and experience is what matters like you won't learn much by Telling me you say it, but I'll tell you the what basics are I told you but there's one more thing left Then that is recon. I'll show you what recon is and what it does 
So what recon allows you to do is scan the survey beacons on the map. As you can see in the clip, I'm using a survey beacon to find the location of the next ring. Only some curly color characters or legends are allowed to do that or able to use that thing. So in the clip, you will be able to see where my next zone is and the zone lights up in light green color or or I don't know if you use a colorblind mode or whatever mode you'll be able to see that in a different way or in a circle inside of a circle. So that's what recon is and those are all the abilities for Bloodhound. So that ends my video and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a lot from this video and make sure to subscribe and drop a like and share it with your friends so your friends can learn Bloodhound too. So I'll see you guys in the next one with a new character or a new weapon. See you guys later. Peace out.